This is Coogan Cassis for IFL TV. We're in Riyadh here for Riyadh season, Battle of the Baddest this Saturday night. Fighting on the card, I have Arslan back. Uh, Magmadov, how are you, sir? Good, good, thank you. It's okay. Have to apologise to you first, sir. Yesterday we did a, a short interview and I, um, the sound wasn't quite right. Yeah, was, this was a big voice around, of course. Uh, <laughs> it's complicated, yeah. Absolutely. Um, how have you found Saudi Arabia this week? Uh, you like the country? Yeah, I, I love this country because I used to go every year in Ramadan. That's why for me it's a special place. Uh, and people here, and uh, I like this, yeah, I like here, to be here. And they've really made it look very spectacular. Uh, the workout, the arrivals, the press conferences later, but it all looks very good. Yes, I never see that uh, so much, so big, biggest event in my life. I first time in uh, kind of the Syrian event, you know, and uh, real uh, impressed me. Absolutely. Um, how much do you, do you know about your opponent, uh, Junior, this week? Yeah, so he's a couple fight. Uh, he, he's a uh, fast guy, you know, uh, like with good defense, with good experience. It's good, be, good be challenge for me. Yes. Uh, Seventeen fights for you so far in your career. Is that right? Yeah. Um, the only person you haven't knocked out is is Erkan Tepper, but your knockout record is r relatively impressive. Uh, Arsene Buck. No, but not bad. <laughs> I try to do my best. Yeah. I just do my job. That's it. This will be your your 18th fight. Uh, at what point, and I, we spoke about this yesterday, at what point do you start challenging for the top of the division? Uh, I hope so, it's going to be soon, uh, because uh, I did that, uh, I already did, uh, with some couples, good guy. But uh, yeah, I will continue, uh, and I hope so next year, next year is, uh, I have a, chance to fight in a title, yes. I saw you on the, after the, the first event on Tuesday, um, I, I saw you on the, the live stream with, um, with Queensbury and w when the name of Tyson Fury is brought up, you didn't seem like you were too happy about talking about Tyson Fury. Has he done something or said something that's upset you? I, I, I heard you say that uh, he's been disrespectful, but could you tell us a little bit about what that is about? No, you, you know, yeah, I, 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 you know, it's a two like different uh, thing like boxing and personal. You know, don't have to nobody touch personal stuff. Your, for example, your name or your religion or your country. It's personal stuff or your family. Nobody have to. That's why uh, his mistake. He touched my uh, personal stuff. It's my name. He like making joking about your name stuff you know you don't have to do that because it's a bad example for a young generation you know for <coughs> because i see today like this trash talking this uh, in mma or in boxing do that this uh, honestly if it's in a, in a, in a sport about sport about boxing okay he can, can say uh, like i beat you where is it's no problem but don't touch personal stuff you know this uh, this is no good. This is what I told told about that. Yeah. Uh, are you talking about his um, the reference to his pronunciation of your name? You found that disrespectful? No, he he, he not just. Yeah, I understand if you if you do like for real, you cannot pronounce. But he did like uh, speak some bad words about you know. That's why it's uh, he li really did uh, joke about my name. You know like. Uh, this is an unrespectable. Yeah, yeah I look like that. Yeah. But at some point, obviously, he, he's the target, surely, isn't he? I mean, over the next sort of months and whether it's a year or however long, that's where you want to be. You want to be fighting at that level um, against guys like Tyson Furies and whoever else, Usyk, Deontay Wilder, Joshua, all these guys. 100% it's my target to fight with this kind of these guys, yes. Honestly, I don't care about f f f with the, who is, but I need a title, title, champion title. I don't know next year I'm going to be, uh, who going to, 
uh, fight who's going to be in this uh, champ, but uh, I will, I hope so, for sh make sure everything to fight for the title, yes. There's um, a lot of heavyweights on the card. There's two British heavyweights in David Adelaide and Fabio Wardley. Um, do you like this fight, Arsene Beck? <laughs> honestly, I not so uh, so no no this guy honestly. I, honestly, I just I'm busy, you know. I do training <laughs> every day, to training every day. I don't have time to follow Omar, uh, my division, you know. That's why I, I just know this famous guy, a couple of this famous guy, that's it. I know too much guy, yeah. Okay. Obviously, we're staying in the same hotel, and, and somebody told me a few days ago that there was a something happened between you and David Adelaide. Were, was something said between you and Adelaide? No, I don't know this guy. Who is it? <laughs> David Adelaide was in the hotel here. He's fighting Fabio Wardley, but there's a guy here who's on the bill, but somebody told me that you two had maybe... Oh, a couple of words. Is that true or not true? I don't know. Honestly, I don't. Know. Maybe he. I don't know. Maybe he's tried to tell me something. Maybe I. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't, don't have anything. No, it's 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 not true. I think. Okay, just to clear that up, clear that one up, everyone. But um, you're obviously looking forward to Saturday here in Riyadh, and you'll be looking to put on a show and, and getting the knockout, which is what we're used to seeing you do. <laughs> no, I just. Um, yeah, of course we go for. Uh, I just do go for do my job, you know, for sh show my best performance. And uh, my my goal is to do my job to try to destroy my opponent. But about knockout, if I do my good my job good, it's coming up. Yes. How tall are you, Asanbek? Tall. How tall? Six six. Six six. You know, everyone in the hotel is terrified of you. You know that. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not going to speak for the boxers, but you know, like I've been here a few days, and everyone keeps. When you walk past, everyone like just kind of moves one side. I don't know. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. You're a nice guy. You're a nice guy. You look terrifying, but you you're a nice guy. Um, have you got anything to say? Your your fans back home in Russia, or um, any message? Uh, thank you guys for supporting me around the world from many many fans from UK I know like me thank you guys I, uh, very soon and uh, this Saturday also I will show very good uh, fight thank you thank you very much for your time and uh, we'll catch up with you again soon